Picture this, it's a bygone era. The year is 1936. The world is in the throes of change, grappling with the relentless march of technology. And in the midst of this tumultuous time, a flickering black and white screen comes to life, transporting you to a realm where laughter and poignant social commentary collide. This is your first encounter with the iconic 1936 movie, Modern Times. Perhaps it was in the dimly lit cinema, your heart racing as Charlie Chaplin's endearing tramp character wobbled and weaved through the mechanical gears of a dehumanizing industrial age. Or maybe it was in the cozy confines of your living room, where the film's timeless humor unfolded, leaving you in stitches as you contemplated the absurdity of the modern world. Memories flicker like film reels when you think back to those moments. The synchronized chaos of the factory scene, the whimsical ballet of the lunchtime feeding machine, and that iconic roller skating sequence that still echoes in the recesses of your mind. Modern times was more than a movie, it was a mirror held up to society's rush towards progress. But let's delve deeper, for behind this cinematic masterpiece lie intriguing tales and random facts that will make you appreciate it even more. Did you know that Modern Times was not only Chaplin's last silent film, but also his first film to feature synchronized sound effects and music? Or that the film's social commentary on automation and dehumanization still resonates today, making it a timeless classic? So, let's embark on this journey together, exploring the fascinating tidbits and hidden gems that make Modern Times a cinematic marvel. Get ready to rediscover this 1936 gem in a whole new light. And now, without further ado, let's unveil the captivating secrets of Modern Times, a timeless masterpiece that continues to entertain and enlighten. Modern Times, a classic 1936 film directed by and starring Charlie Chaplin, is a timeless commentary on the dehumanizing effects of industrialization during the Great Depression. This iconic silent film follows the misadventures of Chaplin's beloved tramp character as he struggles to find employment and maintain his dignity in a rapidly modernizing world. The film's blend of physical comedy and poignant social commentary despite the absence of spoken words, remains a testament to Chaplin's genius. Through ingenious set pieces and slapstick humor, Chaplin explores themes of automation, unemployment, and the struggle for human connection in a mechanized society. His unforgettable portrayal of the tramp, with his ill-fitting suit and iconic bowler hat, has left an indelible mark on popular culture. Modern Times remains a timeless masterpiece, offering both laughter and reflection on the enduring challenges of the human condition in an ever-changing world. Smile, the iconic melody penned by Sir Charles Chaplin for his 1936 masterpiece Modern Times, found new life in 1954 when lyricists John Turner and Jeffrey Parsons added verses to it. This transformation into a song marked the genesis of its enduring legacy. Nat King Cole's recording catapulted it to a 10 hit on the Billboard charts that year. The lyrics, with lines like smile though your heart is aching and when there are clouds in the sky, y'all yeah, get by, echo the film's poignant final moments when Charlie encourages the gammon to smile and assures her they'll persevere. Chaplin's genius extended beyond the screen, resonating through music history. Smile has been covered by a diverse array of artists, from Michael Jackson to Tony Bennett, Diana Ross to Eric Clapton. Its timeless message of resilience continues to captivate audiences worldwide, reminding us to find hope in adversity. But the film's innovations were limited to its soundtrack. Around the 14-minute mark, viewers witnessed Chaplin's daring stunt as he passed through a machine resembling a film projector. Remarkably, this contraption was not made of steel but rather a combination of rubber and wood. Even with these materials, Chaplin found it uncomfortable enough to endure only once. To portray his backward motion, he ingeniously reversed the film, showcasing his commitment to delivering a flawless performance. Yet, not all audiences experienced modern times in its entirety. In Austria, censors took scissors to a scene where the tramp unwittingly led a mob with a red flag possibly due to concerns about political sensitivity during the turbulent 1930s. Modern times, with its blend of humor, social commentary, and timeless music, stands as a testament to Sir Charles Chaplin's enduring influence on cinema and culture. From its iconic soundtrack to its groundbreaking special effects, the film continues to captivate audiences, making them smile even in the face of life's challenges. 
In the 1936 cinematic masterpiece Modern Times, Sir Charles Chaplin showcased his unparalleled commitment to filmmaking with an unwavering dedication to perfection. This iconic film stands as a testament to his hands-on approach, pushing the boundaries of creativity and redefining the art of silent cinema. One remarkable instance of Chaplin's meticulous involvement occurred when he insisted on being a one-man orchestra for a memorable scene. Despite the era's technological advancements that allowed filmmaking to rely on specialized technicians, Chaplin found himself submerged in every aspect of production. In a whimsical pursuit of authenticity, he personally generated the stomach-crumbling sounds for a scene by blowing bubbles in a pail of water. This eccentric endeavor illustrates his unparalleled commitment to bringing his vision to life. Another heart-stopping moment unfolds around the 48-minute mark, where Chaplin, portraying the iconic Tramp character, roller skates blindfolded on the edge of a fictional fourth-floor department store. It's a scene teetering on the edge of danger. However, the perilous large drop was a masterful illusion. Chaplin's team placed a painted scene on a glass pane in front of the camera, seamlessly merging it with the existing set. The result is a breathtaking sequence that leaves the audience in suspense, highlighting Chaplin's innovation in cinematic storytelling. One of the most poignant moments in modern times occurs around the one hour and 20 minute mark. This is the moment when Sir Charles Chaplin allowed the tramp to break his silence and speak on camera for the first time in his storied career. Yet, in keeping with Chaplin's commitment to universal appeal, the Tramp's words were intentionally incomprehensible gibberish. Instead, Chaplin relied on gestures and physical comedy to convey the character's emotions and the narrative, making it accessible and relatable to audiences worldwide. Modern Times is a timeless classic that continues to captivate audiences with its innovation and humor. Through these captivating anecdotes, we gain insight into Chaplin's extraordinary dedication to his craft, forever etching his name in cinematic history. In the 1936 movie Modern Times, Sir Charles Chaplin masterfully portrayed the struggles of the working class in the midst of the Great Depression. However, what many may not know is that the character of the factory boss, who symbolized oppressive industrialization, was actually modeled after none other than Henry Ford himself. Chaplin had encountered Ford and witnessed his groundbreaking assembly line process, an experience that undeniably left its mark on the film's narrative. Additionally, the film went through significant alterations before its release, thanks to the recommendations of the Hayes office. In a memo dated January 6, 1936, Joseph Breen pinpointed elements deemed vulgar that needed elimination. These included the early part of the pansy gag, the use of the word dope in a printed title, the comical stomach rumblings of the minister's wife and Charlie, the entire brassier gag set in a department store, and even a close-up shot of cow udders. Such censorship was not uncommon during this era, reflecting the strict moral standards of the time. Interestingly, modern times also sparked legal controversy. The film shared many thematic similarities with René Clair's 1931 work, A News La Liberté. The production company behind Clair's film, Tabas Film, sued Chaplin upon modern times release. Although their efforts proved futile initially, they attempted litigation again after World War II, ultimately settling out of court. This legal tussle was a source of embarrassment for Clair, a devoted admirer of Chaplin who likely never anticipated such discord with his cinematic idol. Intriguingly, these lesser-known facets of modern times shed light on the film's intricate history, from its inspiration drawn from Henry Ford to its struggles with censorship and legal battles. In retrospect, they offer valuable insights into the challenges and controversies that often accompany works of art that seek to challenge societal norms and conventions. Fascist frown on modern times, Chaplin's cinematic masterpiece Faces Italian Ire released in 1936. Charlie Chaplin's iconic film Modern Times remains a timeless gem in the annals of cinematic history. While hailed as a brilliant satire on the dehumanizing effects of industrialization, it also found itself entangled in international politics. Despite its global acclaim, the movie faced disapproval from none other than Benito Mussolini and his fascist regime. Set against the backdrop of the Great Depression, modern times portrays the struggles of the little tramp in a mechanized world. It captured the hearts of audiences worldwide, yet Mussolini and his government saw it differently. 
The film's themes of economic disparity and human resilience didn't align with the fascist ideology. As the tramp navigates a world dominated by assembly lines and machines, the fascist regime saw its portrayal as a critique of their authoritative control and disregard for individuality. Chaplin's incisive take on modernization didn't resonate with Mussolini, leading to a less than warm reception in Italy. The movie's release there was marked by tensions between artistic expression and political agenda. Mussolini's government didn't outright ban the film, but its themes struck a nerve. The juxtaposition of Chaplin's artistry and Mussolini's authoritarian rule created an intriguing clash of perspectives. The film's impact wasn't confined to narrative alone. The department store sequence, a standout moment, underwent creative evolution. In an earlier version, the tramp assists an ex-factory worker in a larcenous spree through the store's silverware department. However, Sir Charles Chaplin himself later felt that this portrayal deviated from the tramp's core essence, that of a sympathetic figure driven to unconventional measures for survival. Consequently, the scene was axed to maintain the balance between comedy and the character's intrinsic innocence. Modern times not only displayed Chaplin's mastery in storytelling, but also his musical finesse. Alongside his original compositions, the film's score ingeniously incorporated snippets of popular songs, such as Hallelujah, Imma Bum, Prisoner's Song, How Dry I Am, and In the Evening by the Moonlight. This musical tapestry heightened the emotional resonance of the narrative, complementing the tramp's silent struggles with a melodic undercurrent. In the end, Modern Times continues to captivate audiences with its wit, humor, and pointed social commentary. Its international reception, from acclaim to censure, underscores its profound impact on both cinematic artistry and socio-political discourse. Chaplin's masterpiece stands as a testament to the power of storytelling that transcends time, space, and ideological differences. As we bid adieu to this cinematic journey, we find ourselves lingering in the echoes of 1936, where modern times waltzed into the world and left an indelible mark on the canvas of film history. Like an artist's brush strokes on a canvas, each frame captured the essence of an era, unraveling a tale that transcends time. As the curtains draw close, it's not just the whirring of machinery that reverberates, it's the subtle hum of our own lives, entwined with the threads of progress and human spirit. In the dance of Charlie Chaplin's every gesture, in the symphony of emotions woven through each scene, there lies an invitation, an invitation to traverse the corridors of your own memories. Recall that flicker of nostalgia, that first encounter with the film, or the quiet conversations it sparked with generations past. It's a mirror to our shared experiences, to the bonds that hold us together across temporal boundaries. As we embrace the echoes of modern times, let your thoughts flow freely like the cascade of emotions it evokes. Unearth your favorite moments, your cherished dialogues, and the fragments that found a home in your heart. And just as this film has continued to stand the test of time, so too will your reflections, an eternal testament to the power of storytelling. With gratitude for your time and your journey through the corridors of cinematic wonder, we thank you for sharing your thoughts and memories. Until the reels of our thoughts unwind once again, remember that in the labyrinth of history, we find our own stories mirrored back, waiting to be rekindled. Reflect, reminisce, and share, for the spirit of modern times lives on in the tales we tell. 